I think it worked good now. Thanks, Papa. Sandor, come on. Now you stay here. Come in here. I told you, and I told you. What are you doing here this time of day? Look at this house, all falling down. You do nothing. I fix harness. Now it's time to plow field. You fix harness after supper. It's too late to plow then. You know I work hard. All my life I work hard. Excuse, excuse. You think you fool me? You don't. What you try is to keep me from my son. You answer is truth. Yes. No! Anna. Anna. Why so much trouble, Anna? Anna! Anna! Chandor? Take it easy, take it easy. Now what is it? The fighting, the breaking, smashing everything in the house. Come on, climb aboard. Now get your arms around me. Ready? Yeah! We had a small accident. Oh, well, Shando thought there was some kind of trouble. You said that, boy? No, a uh, little argument. Uh, the tablecloth caught on uh, a few broken dishes, a lot of noise, but... Anna! Miss Kosova? Chandor told Mr. Cartwright that we were having much trouble. Oh, no, no trouble. Uh, the cloth got caught on my basket. No trouble. Chandor? Children have such vivid imaginations. Well, that's nothing serious. 
I wish I could say stay. Have coffee, glass of wine, but... Oh, it's all right. Thanks, just the same. You cannot blame Anna. Back in old country, her papa is shopkeeper. Mine only peasant. So much different. So Anna expect maybe castle. I try. I try hard. But it no work. Nick, Nick not good enough, man. Oh, come on, you've had a run of bad luck. It'll change. No, it cannot. Of course it'll change. That's the nature of luck. It changes. Luck? What is this luck? Demons, witches, evil spirits. I learned this from my grandmother. Well, this is a different country, so we have different spirits. Now, you work hard, and your luck will change. No, it's truth. I'll do anything I can to help. Nobody can help. It's not worth bother. All right. That Chando was mistaken. Mr. Cartwright, if it happens again, let it go. Please. Fine. You can help. Pray for me. What are you doing? I'm looking at the flowers. You got work to do. You're supposed to speed post, go to town, buy wire. Pretty. So pretty. You come out now. You come out. Oh, come out. No, no, don't. They are so pretty. Stop talking. Go. Get on the wagon. Go. Wire for defense. And the seed. Don't forget the seed. Oh, hello, Shandor. Is your mother home? Mom went down the road to see Papa. Oh. Well. What are you making there? It's a bow. Oh. Well, it looks like it's going to be a pretty good one. Hey, Mr. Cartwright, do you know anything about curses? Uh, what kind of curses are you talking about, young fella? You know, a curse like a witch. Miss Griggs at school says there's no such thing. Well, you mean the kind of curses that people put on other people, hmm? Yeah, that's it. Can, can someone really do it? Well, a lot of people talk about them. You even believe in them, but uh, I think I'll go along with Miss Griggs. Oh, hello, Mrs. Kosova. Mr. Cartwright, won't you come in? Uh, Miss Kosova, I was uh, just passing by, and I thought. Since I'm on my way to Cottesville tomorrow, and you have some friends in the Serbian community there, perhaps you and Nick would like to send a message or a letter with me. I... No, 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 thank you. Mr. Cartwright, please, sit down. Well, just for a moment. How <sighs> have you been? Oh, thank you. Mr. Cartwright, I ask you for help. Yes, of course. I want you to take my husband. Mm -hmm. Lock him up. He's not right. He has a sickness in the head. Oh, what, uh, what makes you think that? I see the signs. The flowers. He 
It's tough work to look at the flowers. <clears throat> well, uh, Miss Kisova, I look at flowers. <laughs> um, what's so strange about that? Nick's a very kind, he's a sensitive man. I he know. loves flowers. I know, I know. You think Nick is very kind, very gentle. That is what you see. All right. If you don't want to help me, please, Mr. Cartwright, give me the name of someone who might. <sighs> Just because a man likes flowers. I have proof. I cannot show it to you. It's on my body. In my country, it is not so unusual for a man to beat his wife. I am not talking about beating. I am talking about killing. Mrs. Kosova. It's more than just flowers. I know Nick. I live with him. I feel it. Every day, it's getting worse and worse. Well, Mr. Cartwright, I am afraid. Well, do you really believe that Nick would harm you? Kill me! Or my son! Or both of us! Hey, don't you talk American? Me wish sa da gladuye Hey, listen to that. Un tonko chitire, me zetsa, me nismo y el enisha samo krompi. What kind of talking is that? Beats me. Hey, why don't you shut up? Un tonko chitire, me me zetsa. I said shut up. God, listen. What are you jawing about? No good, Turk. You wait. You wait. You see. Someday, someday we drive you from my country. Hold off. <laughs> hey, stop it. Stop it. You guys want to fight? Take it outside. What's this all about? Okay, Cherokee, what happened? You'll always blame me. Ask anybody. He hit me with a bottle. He's got that sodbuster sickness. It comes from pushing a plow. Who started it? He did. Call me a no-good Turk. I'm a good American. He did hit him with a bottle. Half full, too. You better lock him up, Clem. He's wild. I'm gonna do better than that. You help Dave bring him over to the jail. I'm gonna lock you all up. I 
life, I work hard. I hope you try to... You try to take some way. My answer is true, yes, no? Luck. But it's luck, demons, witches, evil spirits, I learned from my grandmother. I look at flowers. So pretty. I love you, Anna. No, Anna. No, Anna. No! No! Let me out! Will you be quiet and go back to bed? Ain't no sign of nowhere, Paul. She made a mess in. Yeah. The fire could have been started by a spark in the stove. Or a kerosene a lamp falling over. Yeah, or it could have been started by Nick. Well, that would explain why Mrs. Kosova and the boy aren't here, but I should find it hard to believe that a man would try to burn up his wife and son. I... That leaves her, then. Set a fire just to discredit her husband. It's happened before, Paul. On my way to Carterville, I'll drop by that Serbian community and ask a few questions about Nick and Anna. Why don't you drop by here later this afternoon? I'll do it. See you later. Punish you. Please, please get up. I can't carry you. Just a little further. Come. Where are we going? To a friend. Where's Papa? I don't know. I want Papa. Harry. Shh, get behind her. Quick. Sandor, what are you doing here? You obey. You obey. Now, Mr. Sova, there's no need for that. He will get himself killed. What? I told you. He tried to kill us. He tried to burn down the house. Who tried to kill us? Now, look, Mr. Still, Cass you don't believe me. Well, uh, well, why, why don't you jump up on the buckboard and we'll talk about it? Come on. No. I want to ride. No! Mr. Cartwright doesn't really want to help us. Are you going to see your friends? Yes. They will believe me. Well, just take a look at your boy. He's tired. Uh, think of him for a change. All right, for a little while. Come on. That's it. Let's give your mother some room here. Mrs. Kosova. You might as well ride along with us. It'll be faster that way. No. Well, then put your bundles back at the buckboard here. up so you'll make a good impression on the judge. All right, let's go, one at a time. What's the matter, Cherokee? We have to whip some jangles? It comes as no surprise. Well, morning, Glory, I guess you get to go first. This bucket's for washing the soaps in the bottom. Go, you two, move! Meet me in court, Dave, whenever they're ready. Sure thing. Hey, who's the judge? Jack Chadney, same as last time you two were here. Oh, 30 days or $30. And me with 30 cents. You're clean enough. Hey, hey, 
they'll hang you. They sure will. Stopping. Get something to eat. Then Shandor and I go on alone. You're not going anywhere until we've eaten. Shandor, let's see what Hop Singh has for us in this basket, huh? There we go. There we are. Miss Kosovo, won't you join us? How can you talk of eating? when our lives are in danger. Shandor, I bet you anything that there's a sandwich in here specially for you. Here you are. You take that and eat it over there by that wagon. And you stay there. You hear me? You think I'm foolish because I want my son where I can see him? I think you're letting your fears run away with you. You still believe my fears are nothing. Fire! That is nothing? I started that myself? I didn't say that. Oh, I am a stupid, ignorant woman. But I know what people think. You like Nick. You don't like me. But still, couldn't I be telling the truth? Of course. I am not frightened for myself. My life is over. I am frightened for my son. He must live. He will live. And so will you. Now have a sandwich. I am not hungry. Now, a man just doesn't go crazy all of a sudden. I know. Now, how long have you known? Maybe since before we were married. Before? Then why did you marry him? Nick was strong, good-looking. He always did funny things. One day he stole a, a lamb that the Turks were preparing for a feast. And when they came after him, he, he rode the pots and pans down the hill. Did your parents approve of this marriage? Never. Nick kidnapped me. Yes, it was a custom in my country. I was glad. I loved him. Hmm. Well, seems to me that you were both young and vital and reckless. And... Yes, I was a different woman then. But Nick, he was always in trouble. One day the Turkish mayor hit him over the head with a cane. Why? It was against the taxes. Life is hard for a peasant in my country. We go now, yes? Yes. Right. Plenty of time. He's been here. He's been so long. have been running for over a mile. They need some rest. I told you Nick is here. Here or two miles back. I haven't seen a soul. Now look, Mrs. Kosova, you may be right about your fears, but that doesn't give you the right to whip my team. To you, this is just another outing, another trip to Cottersville. Well, yes, it is. I haven't seen anybody. Now, is this another one of your feedings, or is it based on something a little more substantial? No, it's the flowers in the road. Didn't you see them? Well, ma'am, there are flowers all over this place. Before we were married, in our village, Nick and I were not allowed to speak to each other. He would come down to the well to watch me, or he'd come to the stream to watch me wash clothes. And often, he would leave flowers in a place where he thought I was going to be. Well, the flowers he used for... Get behind those bushes. Mama? Shh, keep quiet. Quiet, it's all right. You 
see anyone? No. You stay here. You stay out of sight. See anybody. But whoever it was was shooting at me. It was Nick. No. I'd have to see him before I could say it's Nick. But I can say it. Let me stay here with him. You take, take Shandor. No. Look, it doesn't matter. Stay here. Is that you? You and I have no quarrel. Stop shooting and let's talk. He's gonna kill him. No, he's only trying to save our lives. Papa wouldn't hurt me. He wouldn't hurt anybody. I won't let him shoot Papa. I won't. No, no, stay down. You want Papa to die? You put a curse on him. <laughs> I heard a horse running. Yeah, he rode out. Then he will come back. How far is the literature place place from here? About four miles? Yes, I think so. And the rest of the settlement? It's north. The nearest house is about two miles. All right, let's get moving. Come on, Shandor. Shandor. I got to know somebody to hurt. Hey, Clint, come on. Hello, Joe. Hello, Hoss. Oh. Howdy, Clem. You want some chicken? No, no thanks. You far around? No, he's on his way to Carterville. I left early this morning. Got some coffee? No. I'm looking for a lieutenant, Nick Casola. He tried to kill one of my deputies. Nick? That's right. Two witnesses saw him do it. He tried to break up the golden nugget. Almost killed a man to beat a drunk charge. He's got to be crazy. He must have set that fire. Yeah. Fire? What fire? Over to Casola's. Me and Paul went over there this morning. There'd been a fire in the kitchen. Did you talk to Mrs. Casola? No. She and the boy were gone. They were probably headed for that Serbian settlement over by Cotterville. Is Nick armed? Yes, he took a rifle. He's got a pocket full of ammunition. But you don't think he'd harm his family? Yeah. Joe, you and me better ride for Cotterville. I'll settle All right, good. I'll keep an eye on the Casola place. If he's not following Mrs. Casola, he'll probably come back there. Yeah. We'll see you later, ma'am. Thank 
The house is at the bottom of the hill. Wait here. Make sure it's all clear. Since we come to America. See the man you were coming to see? Yes. Such a good friend. How many people live in that house? Just Janice. He lived alone since his wife died. Now, you wait here. I mean that. Don't even think of moving until I give a signal. Now, when I wave, you run around that wagon just as quickly as you can onto the porch and into the house. Keep clear of the window. Shandor, you feel any better? No. <laughs> Neither do I. Mr. Cartwright, I have decided. You, 
and Shandor must get to the settlement. I couldn't possibly get that far with this bullet in my leg. What's on your mind? Perhaps if he killed me, his anger will be stopped. Don't be ridiculous. No, we'll figure something out. What? What will we figure out? He's out there. He's waiting. what he's doing. Papa is sick. Why is he sick? You remember when I tell you about the old country long ago and why we come here? Because we are hungry? Well, we think that if we come to America and we work hard, we'll not be hungry anymore. But you do work hard. And so did Papa. We had bad luck. You mean curses? I don't know. Not like you think. First there was the floods, and then no water, and then, then the locust. Remember? Yeah, I remember the locust. Your father was far away from his land, and from his people. And he felt alone and frightened. Papa was frightened. Shandor, even a very strong man can become frightened when, when problems become so big and he doesn't know what to do about them and he feels all alone and, and sometimes he, he becomes frustrated because he can't do anything about them. And he becomes angry. And sometimes he does the wrong things.
Ah! Looks like Pa caught up with him. Yeah. Anna? Anna? On the floor with both of you. Anna? 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 Before we were married in our village, he would sometimes come to my father's house and call my name like that. Anna! Anna! Find them? Yeah. They're a real nice family, old friend of the Kosovas. Yeah? We're more than happy to take them in. Great, great. You see, Hoss has the team all hitched up. Everything's all set. I'm aboard, John Nor. Good, good. Well, Miss Kosova, I guess it's time we. Mr. Cartwright, I, I want to thank you. I know that I have been very difficult, strange. But for a long time, I have felt so frozen, afraid to feel. Well, I was kind of slow myself, figuring things out. It's my fault, the way I am. It's very hard for me to tell you how grateful I am for our lives and for your friendship. I wish there was something that I could do for you. Well, you, uh, you make a new life for yourself and for Shandor, with your old friends. I will try. For a long time, I have felt so afraid. Now there is no reason to feel afraid. I have been remembering Nick as he was long ago in our village. I loved him then. You keep thinking of him that way. Take care of your mother now. See you, Paul. See you.
Look at this house. All falling down. You do nothing. I fix harness. Now it's time to plow field. You fix harness after supper. It's too late to plow then. You know I work hard. All my life I work hard. Excuse, excuse. You think you fool me? You don't. What you try is to keep me from my son. You answer. It's truth. Yes. No. Anna. Anna. Why so much trouble, Anna? Anna. Anna. Excuse, we had a small accident. Oh, well, Shando thought there was some kind of trouble. You said that, boy? No, a uh, little argument. Uh, the tablecloth caught on uh, a few broken dishes, a lot of noise, but... Anna! Miss Kosova? Chandor told Mr. Cartwright that we were having much trouble. Oh, no, no trouble. Uh, the cloth got caught on my basket. No trouble. Chandor? Children have such vivid imaginations. Well, that's nothing serious. I wish I could say stay. Have coffee, glass of wine, but. Oh. I think it worked good now. Thanks, Papa. Sandor, come on. Now you stay here. this time of day. everything in the house. Come on, climb aboard. Now get your arms around me. Ready? Yeah! 